Well, hello, my inky friends. It's Cindy Lynn with My Inky Fingers. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel and blog. If you're new here, welcome. I am so, can I just say, I missed you guys. I mean, it's been a minute since I filmed a video. I had all this stuff lined up and then I took ill. You guys know about it. I talked about it in my stream and on my Facebook group, but um, I have been talking about all of this stuff. Now, if you were in my Stampin' Chat, you got to see a whole bunch of stuff this weekend because I was just not feeling well enough to stamp. So I got to show you guys a whole bunch of goodies. Now, I have so much stuff that I'm going to have to break this into two videos. So this video is going to be product in the new catalog. And the next video is going to be the kits and stuff. Um, like for example, this here, I'm not even going to get into showing you guys all of this. This is all just stuff that was on, you know me and my shimmer paint pots. I think I have five or six of them in the other room and I have another three, four or five here, five or six. I don't know, but shaker bits I cleaned up. I mean, I tried not to be too greedy, but they were on sale. And if you wanted them, you know, you had to grab them, right? But I got ribbons and shaker bits and I, I want to do the domes. Oh, glue dots. Yep. The domes here, the snow domes for cards, paper pumpkin or paper pumpkin mini pizza boxes because I always make up one of these little color swatches for the new people on my team. And I like to put them in those mini paper box, mini, mini pizza boxes. And they were retiring, so I was all afraid. So I got I got lots for you guys, okay? So I've got three packs, so plenty of you guys can still sign up and get one of those. So I'm not gonna go all through this. I got a basket of just retired stuff. Now, I actually got, if you were um, got the markers, the Stampin' Blends, and there was some on back order, I actually got the Evergreen today. So, or no, not that's not the Evergreen, that one is the soft succulent evergreens that one i'm i gotta get used to these colors but i did pick those all up and i actually picked up more marker storage for that there because i needed more storage now i have got i've got a bunch of dies i got the basic borders dies now i was looking at some of the envelopes in one of the new kits thinking that this was going to be a nice scalloped edge. I don't know that that's going to, I may be able to do something. So if you heard me talking about that in the Stampin' Chat, this is the one I was thinking about for the scalloped edge. And I'll talk about that again in the kits video. But I got the basic borders dies and I got the stitch with whimsy dies. Hello, Reva. <laughs> the stitch with whimsy dies. If you know, you know. Anyhow, um, I put them both in the same case. If you want to know about how to print these, um, you have to be a demo and they are in the print lab. Okay, so you can print the actual inserts and then I just print the pictures and I glue them in there or glue them I tape them in there and uh, I'm a little bit rough with this one right now but I've got two sets of dies in one stamp case so those will go in the cupboard now I was talking about this all things fabulous and I couldn't remember if this was in the mini and I got it or if it was in the new catalog but I wanted a new flowers a set um, like we don't have enough flowers right but this all things fabulous I picked it up because it's 10% off it's a bundle and I gotta tell you guys this one here now you gotta let me know if you know why this is but in here all of these let me pull the insert out it'll be easier so every single one of these here stamps are labeled like b uh, 5b 4a i mean 2c so i was thinking oh is this a thing are they going to start labeling them all because i know when i write out my instructions i'm like with the smaller of the three flowers or whatever but does anybody know why they did that because i haven't seen that on another set and i haven't heard i don't stay up to date with all the stampin up videos and stuff i should i don't have time but nevertheless all things fabulous. I do love this set because it's got the three step stamps for all of the flowers and it's just so effortless to create that dimension with all the different colors. I love, love, love it. And the sentiments. I mean, look at this. I've got the curvy and the straight all in one. I mean, you gotta love that, right? Nobody gets me like you do. That's like you guys. Nobody gets me like you do. Okay. Speaking of you guys creating with friends, this one here, I absolutely adore this. Not only because these pair together quite well, so you can do amazing together. And what uh, what it, what they show in the catalog is stamping this in a lighter color, stamping this in a darker color right over top. Easy peasy, right? But I mean, 
there's so many new sentiments in these new stamp sets. And you know, I was all bummed and disappointed that the itty bitty greetings retired, but I've got a new outlook, okay? The more things that retire, the more room there is for new stuff. And you know what? I'm gonna use what I have. I actually reorganized my um, stamp cabinet and I intermingled all the retired back into rotation in the alphabetical sequence. So it starts at A and it goes to Z and if it's retired or not, it's all categorized, right? Because I'm not gonna not use it because it's retired. So nevertheless, these here would pair perfectly with this because you can do celebrate pregnancy, celebrate, like there's, you can mix and match all of these here. I mean, and there's just, I just love it. So th these here, I mean, even for thank you cards, friends, and then you could do, um, well, this one has baby talk for thank you, but you could actually just stamp the thank you. But I mean, I'm sure there's a thank you. Is there a thank you there? I'm sure there's a, a thank you somewhere, but nevertheless, those, I had to have them. And of course, these new ones, one happy family and threw it together. You know, I have to say, once you get through the tedious job, <laughs> of sticking these on the stickers. I mean, it's the price we pay for our rubber. And if you're a red rubber girl or boy, then you know what I'm talking about. You love your red rubber. One time, go through the tedious effort of putting those on there. I mean, tell me if you, does it bother you? Because if it doesn't, you can come over and do all mine for me because I hate it. But once they're on there and when I'm putting them on, I'm like, Cindy Lynn, put it on thinking that you're going to stamp it right away because there's nothing worse than bringing that stamp down and you think it's straight and it's crooked, but that's what we have a stamp apparatus for. But picked those up because they're sentiments I had. So many happenings. I haven't decided. Now, if you saw my stamp surgery 101, I'll link it up here for you guys. I showed you guys how to take many messages because my um, rubber had a big bubble in it. So Stampin' Up! sent me a new one, didn't expect the old one back. So I turned my frown upside down, made le lemonade with lemons, and I cut it all apart and I showed you guys how to do that. Now, I haven't decided if I'm gonna cut this one apart or not. I'm probably going to because, I mean, come on. I'm probably going to. So what I'll do is I'll get the background on first and then cut it all apart. And if you're picking this one up, let me know if you're cutting it apart or you're leaving it as is because I haven't decided yet. Now, this one, I absolutely, I have an old, old, old Stampin' Up! set. And speaking of old Stampin' Up! stuff, I have something that's so old with Stampin' Up! and it's now in the catalog again. I can't wait to show you that. But this one here, I have an old set of shapes. And sometimes you just want a circle or you just want a square. And these ones, I'm... I'm loving them because of the watercolor and I love the watercolor effect. There's a catalog card that I'm going to recreate for you guys. Um, I don't know for sure. Like I know for the kissing and stuff effect, you know, when you take your stamp and you stamp it on and the color, yada, yada, and then you stamp this one. I don't know if that's going to work really, really good for this. I'll probably give it a try. It would look good antique -y, So watch for me to think about some things to do with that because I really like that set now. Okay, so this here, this here is called Expressions in Ink Ephirma Pack. So I saw it here on page 141, and what got me was these little embellishments here, okay? You know, all the bits and bobs are what they are, but I was after these, number, this is number two here. So um, I thought, I want to see what these little pink sequins are. So let's see what they are. Now, they look, they, they are sequins. And at first glance, when I opened it, um, when I got it out of the box, I haven't even opened this. I think they childproofed this one. Oh, there it is. Okay. So at first glance, they almost looked like um, Swarovski crystals. They kind of have that look, the Swarovski crystal look with the pink. So... I mean, I'm kind of liking that. And at $9.50, of course I get the discount, but I'm going to see if the rest of these bits and bobs make it worth me ordering more. Now, I can already see that these here, let me have a look at all of them. Okay, so there was a paper pumpkin way back that I told you guys about. Now, what is going on here? 
Oh, there's all kinds of insides and outsides and these sides and that sides. Okay, so this is supposed to be the frame and I believe the inside is going to come out of this, is it? Yeah, okay, so the inside's gonna come out. Ooh, this is very dainty, but you know what? Oh, and these little pieces here, keep these little pieces because, yeah, I mean, look at that. Okay, yeah, I'm sold. Okay, so there was a paper pumpkin way back um, I can't remember what month it was. I think it was November 2020. And I felt that the, the gold had been burned. It kind of has a little bit of that. Like the bigger images, you can kind of see where the laser kind of burned it a little. But I don't think there's much getting away from that. I mean, I have seen other things that didn't have it. But I'm kind of liking these. And these come on you can reuse those so yeah I mean if you're doing a bunch of cards um you can you've got a whole bunch in there how many papers are there I think five one two three four five sheets so I think there's value there I mean if I can remember that I have them that's my biggest problem is remembering what I have and actually using it but I will probably use up those and I'll probably order a backup of these because I'm kind of a sucker for sequins now, the genial gems. I just did a big video showing you guys how to make your own embellishments. I'll link it up here too. And I did these ones, um, the gold. Now these are a little bit different. These aren't flaky gold in here. They're more like a very fine glitter, borderline mica, like not quite mica, but not quite glitter, like right in between, if you will. And the green one has the gold in it too. And this is easy to recreate and I probably will recreate it. Well, I don't know. I think I might have one bottle left, but all you do is just put a lighter amount of color, right? So I picked those up actually. I picked them up in my pre-order <laughs> and didn't realize. And then I picked up a whole nother pack. So I'll be using those to use them up. Actually, I may even throw one in my team gift gift basket for um, my team meetings. So uh, what else have I got here? Okay, for this, I was talking about a, a um, goal that I had seen in one of my live streams. And you guys told me where it was. Um, oh, that's on page 69, actually there it is so this gold here and you guys let me know it was here the foil sheets these little ones i meant to order those <laughs> however i ordered this number seven instead the gold and rose gold six by six so um i actually already had a little peek at it and realized that i ordered the wrong one but i am not mad at this because i have to tell you i don't know if you can see this through the video but this has it almost has like a wood grain. I don't want to say wood grain and turn you off, but if you have it, then let me know if you agree. But it's kind of like, now it's textured. It's almost like, it's almost like a wallpaper or like, I don't know if you can see. I mean, yeah, you guys can see that. So these, I really like these. And you know what I love? I love that they're six by six. I mean, I like the 12 by 12 sheets because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to exclude our scrapbookers, but I like these six by sixes and I may start just cutting down my actual big sheets into six by six because then I can just sit them in a basket and catalog, catalog them and they're so much easier to flip through, flip through and see. Words are hard today. Now I got the in color six by six and I got, don't ask me why I only settled with three and I didn't get the regals as well, but I got the brights, the neutrals and the subtles. Um, I believe all of these with exception, well, let's, okay, all the patterns are the same. Okay, let's open the brights because the brights is my favorite. All the patterns in every single one are the same and I got lots of paper to show you so I don't want to waste too much time on this, but I mean, I have to tell you my honest, honest opinion this is my favorite set of patterns yet that Stampin' Up! has on their in color and their, you know, house colors, the ones we always carry for the patterns. I'm really liking these. Like, I can see me using more of these. Um, I always get them, and I never end up using them all. But you know what? Paper doesn't go bad. <laughs> it will not rot in your drawer. So um, I have to tell you, 
my upline made me a card. I'll show you guys this again in my live stream, but she used all the ink colors and I'm start, they're starting to grow on me. I love the pink. I love the pink. And I know I've got a couple green lovers here that they're on my team and you guys that follow me. So you're probably really happy because you have two new greens. Um, I'm with Todd. We need another orange. He says there's only one true orange, which is pumpkin pie. And we need another orange. So let me know if you're agreeing with Todd and we need another orange or not. So I'm going to show you, I have two sweets and one of them includes something that came back, but I want to show you this host paper. I showed everybody in my stamp and chat this paper and I'm going to show you first of all the pattern side. Okay so we've got this one and it's kind of like little teeny rocks almost like a little animal print and I love it. I even like the color. I'm totally not mad at that. I love this one with the rose. Like I love that it's condensed. This blue one, love this one. I just want to make sure these are all in frame. And the green has got this beautiful little vinery on it. Stripes. I mean, who doesn't love stripes? And then we've got this pink animal print. And I think I'm just obsessed with it because it's pink. Now getting into the rainbows. Come on. Will you look at these rainbow patterns here? I am absolutely in love with every single pattern on this side of the cardstock. Shocker, right? I mean, that never happens. I mean, it just never happens. So if I was to pull a few out, I would pull these two out. But I mean, I'm not mad at them at all. Like, I don't terribly dislike them. I'm obsessed with these ones in here. Love the pinks. And I love these for the more elegant cards, right? This one could actually stick this over here. It would probably match a little bit better. But I am super happy with these. Now, this is a host only. And the actual stack of cardstock, I measured it. It's over a quarter quarter inch thick. There's so much cardstock in here. It's in the very back of your catalog. Now the other half, because I separated them, the other half of your cardstock. So this is the colored side there. The back side is all black and white. So look at these little pebbles, will you? I mean, oh my gosh. So this one here, I mean, I just love these and these I could see I'm sure some cards are going to pop up where people are coloring these this one looks like a starry night background you know the little space dudes the derpy little ones I'm going to cut the faces out of <laughs> that's a whole nother conversation but this one this was what this was what I was most excited about in this paper pack when I saw this online I absolutely wanted this and this here I mean I I'm going to hoard this paper I'm going to buy multiples of them and hold hoard them so that I have them for years to come but Oops, I got that one out of out of line. But then you've got your little leaves. And again, you could color these in very easily. This is like a little um, herringbone, like a little hand-drawn herringbone pattern. These ones are dots, super cute. And then you've got more dots, kind of randomized. And then, you know what's really fun? Oh, no, there it is. <laughs> I was going to say, the one I didn't really like, I must like now because I haven't seen one I don't like. But I like this one kind of just all the little lines drawn and then you've got your little buffalo check I know that these aren't all in screen now but last one this one it I'm not a huge fan of it it reminds me of one of those pictures that you see online um, if you stare at it long enough you'll see a horse or something in the pattern you know what I mean but those I mean you guys those papers are just to die for so super excited about that I am I am in the market I'm trying to buy a um, paper trimmer so I can start doing paper shares but th that's a whole another long story okay so I actually I accidentally got this sweet I wanted this sweet but it wasn't on this month's wish list I took I, I made a mistake on my order but anyhow I'm not mad that I got this at all so um, the elegant tag punch comes with this and the stamp set and I do like this stamp set I like the elegance of it the classiness and I love the elegance and classiness of the actual stamps in there I haven't looked at the paper but and I gotta show you the the, the one thing about this this suite that really shocked me but I'll go through the paper first and I actually have not looked at this, like I said, but I'm thinking I'm going to be in love with it because I did see it online. So it's foiled cardstock, 
um, I love that pattern. This one is oh so pretty. And these are double-sided. Uh, let's do the double-sided thing. We'll do one. And this paper is so soft. I mean, it's just it's just has such a such an expensive feel to it. I love this pattern. I really like this pattern. I like that quite a bit. You could do some uh, copper embossing on there. That would be super cute. And I love that. Now, it looks to me like it's not black and white. It's black and like a Sahara sand, I would say. Um, this one is super pretty. Oh my gosh. I, you know what? It's not often I'm obsessed with all the, all the cardstocks in a pack, but this one, I mean, even this one, look at that. I love it. So pretty. Oh, that one's beautiful too. This one, I mean, they really knocked it out of the park and there's still more to come. They knocked it out of the park with this paper set. Oh, I'm going to have to pick up more of this for sure. Oh, and I love this one because this one's got... This one's got like the gold and the silver in it. That one is super pretty. And the last but not least are the leaves. I mean, that is a gorgeous paper set. I mean, chime in, let me know what you think, but that's gorgeous. Now, here's the thing that is really neat about this. It comes, it, the suite, or you can get these, you can get these on their own, but they come with this Simply Elegant trim. And I got to tell you guys, and you may already know where I'm going with this because I've already showed you guys, but I have these spools of Stampin' Up! twine, silver and gold, that, I mean, the silver, I'm starting to see the bottom of the spool. Um, this is how they used to come. They actually still have the order, like little price, or not price tags, but you know, it looks like a price tag. It just has the order number on them. I have had these for... I mean, since 2004, 2005, and you know what? Th this here, I mean, they are the same. <laughs> there is no difference. So you know what? I'm gonna use these because now I don't have to be so, or maybe I should put those away and start and use these up because these I can still stash, but these take up more real estate in the drawer than these will. But I was super stoked. So if you have, do you have product from Stampin' Up that's like almost 20 years old like I do? But those, I said I was gonna order these and see if they were the same and they were. So I was super thrilled about that. So now I don't have to worry about running out of those. Now, the last suite I got, um, I'm excited to see the paper because I haven't actually even opened that yet, but it's the sweet as a peach. Now, this will be my class next month, but I have to tell you guys, I was flipping here through the catalog and some of you have already heard this because I told you about it, but I was flipping through here. And I happened to see under the packaging basics on page 137, these little number three, these little mini, they call them mini jam jars. And I saw them in here and you know me, I don't do a lot of this altered stuff, right? Um, but I saw those and what I pictured in my mind was like little jars, you know, actually stamping up embossing powder in all of but I pictured like these little jars like maybe this size you know like those little miniature jam jars that you save and you've seen in someone's china cabinet maybe they're in yours but that's what I pictured and then and then my sideline and I were chatting and and she asked me what my class was going to be next month and I told her probably the you're a peach sweet i mean look at this sweet as a peach and it comes you guys with the dyes and their photopolymer but i mean there's just have you seen these cards on page 60 they're adorable so i opened this up to tell her because i had seen the cards but then i saw these and then i saw these and i thought hold on a second i've got an idea are these the same as these like how big or little are these because here's my idea yeah you can put these little treats in them or you know whatever but because I've seen so many times people store these little jars and they keep them forever in their little china cabinets and you chime in you know somebody either yourself or somebody has one I thought what if now these are them which are they're a lot bigger than I thought but I thought what if 
we made a scene inside of one. Because you know how we do our shaker jars, right? So what if we took some of these little elements and made like a little stand-up scene in there and then did the tops with the DSP like this, tied them up real cute, but they're never intended to be open. They're just a little scene. And then your little tag will be your little message like have a peachy day or thanks so much if they're perfect for thanks, right? But I mean, a lot of these little elements you can take a little bit of acetate or, you know, you people do those stand-up pop-up little boxes and stuff. But imagine a little stand-up scene in here. So that's kind of where I'm thinking I might, I might want to go with that. You'll have to watch for the pictures. I'll do one in the class. And then, of course, in class we'll do some cards like we usually do. So that there will definitely be... Um, next month's class but let's look at this paper because I have not seen this paper now I'm gonna let you guys know what I do when I open my paper because I like to keep it personally for me I like to keep it in its actual plastic and I usually open these up off screen so I take and I cut off I got some tape there about the top inch and then fold it over and then I cut off about an inch here and now I can always put this back in there and I can store all the little bits and bobs in there too. There goes the dog. Okay, so I have not seen this paper and this one obviously I saw it and I absolutely love it. It's so beautiful. So let's go that side there and then flip it over here. Now this one is super cute it's kind of busy there's a lot but i could see using about you know a half of the card front or a strip down the side that one's really pretty this one here um i don't know if i like the color combination and it's really large now for a scrapbook page that would be so perfect but there's always the back side which is adorable i love it so love that one this one I really like look at how good those two go together actually they go together very very nice and then if you were to stamp all your peaches on there that's a nice color combination for sure I, I don't know what it is here but I think that there's this background is too much with all of those peaches whereas if you had a peach on this one or this one it'd be kind of muted down a little bit I don't know why I feel like that I just do I love this one I love stripes you guys know that I love my stripes. This one is super pretty. They look like little cherry blossoms. Maybe they are. <laughs> I don't know. But stripes again, this way or that way, whichever way you want to put them. That's super, super pretty. Now, you know what's funny? This one looks exactly like that one. It is because I can see here, there. So it's the exact same cardstock, but they just left the background white. And I, I almost want to say I feel cheated, but I don't because I like it better than that one. So I wish that that one, you know, hadn't been blue now that I see this one because I like that. And now it doesn't feel so busy. Like, I don't know that I would use this one on a card, but I don't know that I wouldn't use this one on a card. So, you know, let me know what you think. So I like it better with a white background. And this one, look at the blending ombre effect in there with the little dots that is super pretty i like that a lot this one okay so i see here they've repeated no they haven't repeated this one so it's the same little i don't know are they cherry blossoms they look like cherry blossoms and i i don't know which one i like better i like them both so they've got some different little things going on in that one which i like so the back of it I really like that. So with exception to that one right here, I mean, and if I take that out and now I have two of those, just my opinion, you may love it and that's totally fine. I, I'm i kind of impressed with how much of the cardstock I was in love with this time around. That usually doesn't happen. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna show you guys today. Uh, definitely stay tuned for my kits video and I've got one of the kits you will have already seen by the time this video goes up you'll have seen it in the live stream it was cards for guys but there are just so so many cute kits let me know what you're picking up out of the new catalog and until I see you guys again take care and happy stamping